Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use a public GitHub repository to serve static files as a CDN, uh, and then also going to show you how to receive those files. To do so, there's a few steps. The first one is going to be creating a GitHub repository and making it public. The second step is going to be uploading files or pushing our files to that GitHub repository that we would like to serve. And the third step is using JS Deliver, which is an open source CDN to retrieve those GitHub files. Uh, JS Deliver is super popular and used all over the web. Before we get started, I want to mention that there are going to be a couple links in the description below. This repository that is up on your screen now, which is going to have the source code for this video um, and the demonstrations we go over, as well as the JS Deliver documentation right here that is going to show you everything you need to know to use this properly. At this point, I'm going to head over to my code editor, which is Cursor. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and create two different files. The first one is going to be test-cdn.js and the second one is going to be test-cdn.html and this is going to be used as a demonstration to receive our CDN file. Now I'm going to head back to the test-cdn.js and I'm going to go ahead and create this file. All I need to do is do something such as a console log and say this is my test CDN or you can even do something like uh, document.write okay this is my test CDN file here something like that and these will both be at, um, run, run on our HTML page now that I've created this before I do create the HTML page I'm going to go ahead and upload this to github so I'm going to go back to my Google Chrome and I'm just going to copy this entire uh, code block here, which is going to help us push. It's going to make a readme, I think, and push that. But then I'm going to go ahead and git add test cdn.js and then I'm going to go ahead and git commit that as well and push it just like so. And now this file should be present on our GitHub repository. Refresh that. And there it is. So you can see the test cdn.js. Now to retrieve this file, I actually need to go to a, I need to create a link. And so you can see this in the browser as well as importing it into your HTML file. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and create a new, uh, new tab here and go to cdn.js deliver.net slash GitHub. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this back to, so it's going to be slash gh for GitHub, slash username, and then slash the repo name. So in my case, that's GitHub or gh-cdn-demo, and then slash test-cdn.js, and press enter, and there you go. You can see the file is statically served. You can even use the same exact URL. Uh, right now in your browser and you'll see the same file if I haven't updated it in the future. So now going back to the GitHub, I'm going to go back to the base here and I'm going to go ahead and create an HTML file which can receive this, uh, this statically served JS file. I'm going to copy this link so we have it. I'm going to go back to cursor, my IDE, and I'm going to set a doc type, HTML. Uh, I'll make a really simple HTML doc here and I'll say paragraph here uh, this is my paragraph and then I'm gonna create a script tag and I'm gonna set the source equal to this link that we created oops there we go and save that now when I open up this HTML file it should go ahead and import this file here okay I've gone ahead and found the link for the file in my file system and this is the link as you can see. So when I went to this and opened up the HTML file, uh, this is the HTML, HTML file we just created. And I go ahead and open the console and there should be a log there. Uh, yep, and there you go. This is my test CDN. Hey, this is my test CDN file here. Those were both from the CDN file that was imported, the JS file that was imported via this link here. Um, so I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe and go ahead and check out this GitHub repository. I'm going to update it with that HTML file as well. 
And then also check out the documentation for JS Deliver below. You can use it for other things such as CDN or uh, NPM packages. Uh, what was the other one? And you can combine multiple files, whatever. There's a bunch of different um, different options here in the documentation. So go ahead and check that out as well. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped, and I'll see you later.